What's up guys? Today we have a old stinky integral floor mat. And under said old stinky integral floor mat, probably not stinky, but we have a super sick Jay's Racing floor mat. So Akira here bought these a little while ago, right? About how yeah. long ago? Uh, a few months back. A few months back. If you want to get a quick like zoom in on this sick logo. The Waza. So feel. Reveal Waza energy and what was the last one? Oh yeah, satisfaction. It's very Japanese, which is awesome. It is, yeah. Uh, how much were these? Uh, they were like three something. Okay. With EMS. Where did you get them from? Jay's Racing USA. Straight from. Okay, straight from Jay's Racing. Yep, Yasu um, at Jay's Racing. Yeah. You USA. have options on these. You have the border option. Yep. Do you have this too or no? No. Okay, so you just have the border option in pretty much whatever color you want. Uh, you went with red to kind of you know match your car. Yep. And it is a full set of four. So this is the driver mat, comes with a nice little heel spot, passenger mat, and then there are two back mats, mats in yep. there. Yep, which Complete. is nice. Because not a lot of mat sets actually come with stuff like that. This is true, yeah. But we have to modify these guys. If you look back on this mat, there's a grommet here for the little post that sticks out from under the seat to hold the mat in place. Yeah, it was, I think, legally required 99 and up. Was it really? Yeah. I did not know that, actually. So that's to keep the mat from sliding under, under the- Something under the Prius gas pedal and making people floor it? I guess. Nice. I didn't, I didn't know they made yeah. that a thing. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, as you can see, no grommet. So we're going to take these brand new 300 some odd dollar Jays racing mats and put a hole in them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you can see here, we have this nice little grommet kit. If you've never used these, they're pretty simple to use. They come with some base little fitting guys. This is, I remember it, the punch. Yeah, this is the punch to knock out the appropriately sized hole. They have a couple different sizes in there. Half and three eighths. Yeah, we're probably gonna use these guys. Yep. Yep. And then this is the grommet. So once you punch your hole, you're gonna put this over and then your little punch guy, which I believe is you. Yeah, you put your little punch in it and then you are gonna hammer it, and it'll fold this lip over this other side of the grommet, creating a really nice tight seal. But like I said, to do that, we have to put a hole in this. So we're gonna take the stock Integra mat, we're gonna lay it back over this, we're gonna find the correct position for the grommet, we're gonna mark it out, we're going to take a drill to these, and then we're gonna get this all together. So, time to drill some mats. So we have the little punch. We're gonna try this before we just drill a hole because this is technically the tool you're supposed to use. It might not punch through this, but we will find out right now. We give you a little block of wood as well so you can place it under whatever you're hitting. So this guy will literally just start to hit into the wood. So you can see I made a little mark on the mat. We are gonna move this just a hair up. So right about here, okay? And then you're just gonna take your hammer Give it a couple good whacks. And yeah, we're gonna have to go to the drill on this. So depending on the type of material you're using, these are normally used for uh, like vinyl fencing and stuff. So if you have something that's kind of carpeted like this, you may have to drill it out. So I'm gonna grab a drill and we're gonna do that. Okay, so I have these nice little pots from my lady. I'm supposed to drill holes in anyways. So we can see the mark where the uh, little hole maker was so we're gonna gently the stamp the stamp very gently here there we go hey look i made the hole i needed to make actually <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take it that's kind of funny and we're gonna clean this out real quick but you can see we have our nice little hole here and with any luck this guy yep will now fit. We just have to clean some of this out of the way, but the grommet is in place. So we're gonna clean the excess out of here and then we'll be right back to show you how to put this little grommet in. Okay, so we actually went back through with the hole punch after we drilled the hole and as you can see, 
now we have a perfect hole. That is clean. So we are gonna go ahead. The factory mats point this grommet down. So you're gonna literally just put it in place. You'll see it pop through right here. We're gonna get the bottom piece, lay it on. And actually we're gonna flip this over. So let's go ahead and flip our mat. Set this right here. And then there you go. You can see the lip here is pushed through. So we're gonna take this guy, which is the appropriate size one. Give it a couple hits. You can see that it folds the edge. And there's your grommet. Nice and installed. So that, if you get floor mats without a grommet and you need to put a grommet in them, that's how you do it. So there you go. And what size was that? That was the 3 8 We did actually use the smaller one because you said you did some research and the 3 8 size was the correct one for this. But if you wanna take a close look here, you can see the lip of this gets folded over. We'll probably go back and hit this just a couple more times to make sure it's gonna definitely hold forever. And uh, yeah, that's it though. So the next time you see this, someone here will be putting them in their car, which will be kind of cool. Cause A, I didn't even know they sold these. B, these are super sick. I didn't know they existed either. There we yeah. Go. Yeah. All right, great. So like I said, you'll see these inside the car and uh, yeah. Go ahead and, but until you see these in the car, let us know what you thought about the video in the comments down below. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, ring notification bell, do all the little YouTube stuff, you know how that goes. But uh, we'll definitely see you in the next video. All right, see ya.